All right, let's move on and talk about Young Miami. She done took Diddy by e It's Liz with the biz. It's Liz with the biz. Even if Diddy done had that child on her with another baby mama, she done took the man back. So, you know, it seems like she is just protecting her business interests. She has that Carisha Please show, and it seems like that show is doing very well. Now, they're saying that it's going to be canceled, but it seems like that show is doing pretty well. So, I don't see Diddy canceling that show anytime soon. So, anyway, she done took the man back, and she says that she can talk to Diddy about anything. This, according to People, City Girls Young Miami gushes over a rumored boyfriend, Diddy. Why did they say rumored boyfriend? Because you never know when they're going to be boyfriend, when they're going to be item, and when they're not going to be an item. But she does say that I can talk to him about anything. But the question is, does he talk to you about anything? Does he let you know what is going on? Is it a two-way conversation? Are you just telling him all your business? Because people are saying that you were shocked about this newborn baby. So Andy done took him back, and she said that she can talk to him about anything. So, uh, according to this, young Miami is gushing about rumored view, Sean Diddy Combs. Okay, once again, while attending the season two premiere of BMF at the TCL Chinese Theater in Los Angeles on Thursday evening, the City Girls rapper, who is 28, chatted exclusively with people. So, people talk with Miss Carisha. Carisha, please, about Combs, who is 53. So, she is 28. He is 53 whom she was first linked to last year so what did she say she said he's a man he's a grown man the artist one carisha romica brownlee so they even got the middle name carisha romica brownlee exclusively tells people he's very honest okay well maybe she did know about it but you know she didn't want to let on that she knew about the baby but she says he's very honest he's up front about everything ain't no secrets with him nothing in my face everything in one i can talk to him about it she said no secrets he ain't keeping no secrets from you okay this is what she said now this is probably what she thinks young miami asked that their shared spirituality help cement their bond explaining we go to church he takes me to church we pray together we put god first for real we pray talk to god and go to church i can talk to him about anything oh y'all go to church together wow Everybody that go to church is not always doing the right thing, but at least you are going to church. It is shocking to hear that you two go to church together, but this is what she said. So that's a good thing. We're not going to take that from her. And um, so it goes on to say that the good love proner also notes that what makes her relationship with Diddy so special is that it's the first time she has experienced a love like this okay a love like this what type of love is this it appears that she is smitten with diddy for one reason or another you know they seem to have a good personal relationship together dynamics of their relationship so carisha please is in it to win it so it says that young miami recently rang in the new year with diddy who welcomed a baby girl named love shine combs in december so carisha is not going anywhere anytime soon okay carisha is doing what's best for carisha so it says that the entertainment mogul shared a series of photos on social media from his new year celebration with the city girls rapper by his side so in a previous report if you want to see what they shared on the internet you can go back to my report on diddy and carisha so she's happy he's happy looks like everybody is happy so this is what is going on let me know what you think about this so gabrielle union has been in the news as of late because she did an interview and in the interview she admitted into fidelity in a past relationship so gabrielle union according to usa today gabrielle union says she felt entitled to infidelity and in first marriage i wish i had more guilt so she is not feeling guilty about this infidelity that she did in a past marriage of course this is not in her recent marriage that she is with in with Dwayne Wade but this is in her first marriage so let's see what this is about because people are feeling some type of way about Gabby L. Union out there cheating and why did she cheat 
now according to reports that i have seen it's because that the guy had cheated on her first so you know two wrongs don't make a right but this is one of the reasons why i guess she feels entitled and also you know she was making the money you know but just because you're making the money that don't mean that you can cheat on a person so let's see what is going on with miss gabrielle union and what had happened in her first relationship so apparently it didn't work out for a reason so according to usa today gabrielle union regrets her first marriage but not necessarily infidelity so she doesn't regret she does regret the first marriage but apparently she does not feel guilty about the infidelity is what i'm getting from this union who is 50 years old now this woman is 50 years old she looks good don't she look good so union has who is 50 years old who is 50 years old appeared on monday's episode of dax shepherd's armchair expert so this is what the name of the podcast is armchair expert podcast and the two discuss cheating in their earlier relationships the bring it on star described her first marriage to former nfl player chris howard so this person was an nfl player very interesting not sure if he was in the nfl when she was married to him but anyway former nfl player chris howard as dysfunctional from day one the pair went in 2001 and divorced in 2006 i definitely was not getting wife of the year awards union said in my first marriage neither one of us felt like the marriage should get in the way of our dating oh wow so neither one stopped dating after the marriage so i don't see how the but you know some people do have threesomes and you know have unconventional marriages but she said that they did not want to let their dating get in the way so she added that part of their infidelity was because her was also allegedly cheating the other part was her the other part was her ideology on power dynamics and relationships i just felt entitled to it as well i was paying all the bills not paying all the bills girl paying all the bills you married to a football player all right she says i just felt entitled to it as well i was paying all the bills like my dad before me whoever has the most gets to do whatever the h-e-double-l they want so what am i getting from this her dad was the breadwinner so her dad felt entitled to do the h-e-double-l what he wanted as well that is what i'm getting from this now i might be getting sidetracked but she said like my dad before me whoever has the most gets to do whatever the h-e-double-l they want and don't we see this time and time again where these superstars you see out there allegedly cheating on their significant others you see it in basketball players you see it in football players and you know it's in the news of them being out there with a chick on the side you see it all the time now you probably see it in women too but i don't see it as much with men now i might be a little bit biased but she said that like my dad before me whoever has the most gets to do whatever the h-e-double-l they want she said so this article goes on to say that union also remembered the therapist telling the pair the one thing you guys have in common is other people so why don't you just be with other people so this is what the therapist told y'all go ahead and break up y'all just want to be with other people anyway so why be married so looking back the bad boys two star said she was looking for validation from people of a certain stature union you know a lot of times people feel that they need to get married because other people tell them that they need to get married you know even when you work in the corporate world it seems like they have more respect for a married person they will promote a married person because they are going along with the program now i could be getting off track but let's go back to this article so it says looking back the bad boys two stars said she was looking for validation from people of a certain stature union has been married to former nba player Dwayne wade since 2014. the couple share daughter cavia well anyway it talks about their family dynamics but she was looking for validation you know other people were getting married i guess she wanted to get married i guess she wanted to fit in it's what i'm getting from this so evidently she had a defunctional first marriage they was out there still dating even after they got married so this is what is going on this is why gabrielle union cheated in the first marriage apparently the guy was cheating as well 
and she doesn't feel guilty for it and why would she feel guilty for it i mean this relationship was very very dysfunctional she's no longer in this relationship so apparently she has moved on and now she is married to Dwayne Wade. So let's go over to Twitter and see what the Tweety Bird had to say about Gabrielle Union. So this person says, you only heard one side of the is Gabrielle Lou Chris Howard teaching story. Please stop rehashing this painful time for all involved. So this person said it was a painful time. Of course, it was a dysfunctional relationship, so I can't see what they are saying. This person says, typical Gabrielle Union, like many women just like her, will not fail all by herself. She has to drag a black man down with them. Gabrielle Union, if you were cheating, that was your choice, not your father's. Learn to fail all by yourself. All right, so they are saying that she threw her father under the bus when she did this. So this person says, every morning talk show talking about that, what Gabrielle Union said. So I guess they said, cry me a river. They have the crying emoji. This person says, a Gabrielle Union topic, and she was mentioned yesterday. The View. Okay, well, good Let, for letting us know. All right, so apparently this must be a picture of Gabrielle Union and her first husband. They look so cute and cuddly together. Who would have known that they were going through all of this? This person says, Gabrielle Union paid all the bills and felt comfortable cheating on her man that's hilarious because i'm pretty sure she was in the miss independent video all right so they were saying that she was not making enough money uh to pay all these bills at the time is that what y'all are legend so this person says my type of tweet let's go so who team you own 50 50 gorilla are you a gabrielle union you pay the bills you cheating anyway the these are just some of the comments on twitter uh, what people are saying and it looks like Gabrielle you is getting just a little bit of backlash from this and what I am getting from this so this is what is going on with Gabrielle Union let me these are just my thoughts and opinion let me know what you think about this as well make sure you leave a comment below and it's always busy bodies thank you so very much for popping by my page don't forget to like this video subscribe to the YouTube channel we're trying to get up to 1,000 subscribers this is Liz, keeping up with the biz, and I'm out. It's Liz with the biz. 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 Yo, this is Liz with the biz. It's Liz with the biz, telling it how it is, and she gon' keep it real, cause it is what it is. It is what it is. Yo, this is Liz with the biz.